Hi, my name is Cindy Canellan. My donor hero is my son, David. David was born with Cornelia DeLange syndrome, tough, tough, tough syndrome, but he was living his life to the fullest. He loved to mow, he loved to sing with Peter, Paul, and Mary, he loved to play jokes on people. Um, the more jokes he could play, the better. He, he, he was just a fun kid. Um, in 2012, he had um, some medical issues. He had a respiratory arrest and it came evident that he wasn't gonna survive. Because of my background as a nurse in a bone marrow transplant unit, I asked if he could be a donor. Um, I didn't know with his syndrome whether or not he could, um, so I asked and Midwest Transplant uh, Network came out, they talked to me about it, um, and we signed all the papers and when it came time, David was able to donate um, his lungs, his kidneys, and his corneas. Uh, his liver enzymes were a little elevated, so his liver got to go to research. So what I say to you is it doesn't make any difference if you think that with, with whatever medical condition you have, you can't donate. Um, you can still go ahead and sign the back of your driver's license, become a donor, um, and it will be up to science to decide whether or not there are any organs or tissues that can be used. David was cremated, and when I was handed the um, box of ashes, and I took them in my hands and I thought, if he had not donated, I would have been holding in my hands the hope of people who were on the waiting list for organs. I had been told that he, you know, by a lot of people, even after he donated, that because of his syndrome, he couldn't donate. I said, he did. <laughs> and there are people with lungs and kidneys and corneas that are doing well because of it.